English language introducing capital O, simple O and capital P, simple P. Hello kids, good morning. It's Jana teacher here. I hope you all are doing good, right? All right. Uh, before we start today's lesson, I would like to talk about few good habits. Alright children, for good habits, today I would like to talk about healthy habits. I think nowadays it's really important to improve our healthy habits. Here I have given you a picture with few good healthy habits. Let's see what are the healthy habits here. First, covers measles and coughs. Children, you should always cover your face, especially your nose and your mouth when you sneeze and cough. Then, wash hands often. Children, we must definitely wash our hands before we eat and after use the bathroom. Rather than that, nowadays, it's really important to wash your hands always. You can use a soap or a hand wash to wash your hands properly. Next, clean common surfaces. Children, you should clean your common things, the things that you use day to day for your safety purpose. You know kids, we don't know there are so many germs everywhere. We can't see them. So therefore, it's really important to clean your stuff for your safety purpose. Next, don't touch your face. This is really important for you. You know children, sometimes there are germs on our hands. Then when you touch your face, germs can easily go inside our body through our face, especially through our nose and mouth. So therefore, you should be clean your hand and don't touch your face. Next, stay home when you are sick. It's really important to stay at home, especially when you are sick. It's good for you as well as others. But you must be care about you. You should go to a doctor and take some medicine. Last one's social distancing. Kids, you should have a gap, especially between you and others. Nowadays, this is really important. But I know as more kids, this is really hard for you to do. But then, you must keep these habits in your mind and try to follow it. Because this is really worth for you and for yourself. Okay, then children, now it's time to get back to our lesson. Alright kids, let's recall our last time letters before we start today's lesson. Last time we have learned capital M, capital M and simple M, simple M. Capital M, simple M. Here you can see the pictures that beginning with letter M. Let's name them. Man, mat, mug, map, mop, milk, mother, monkey, mango, moon, money. Here you can see how we can write capital M and simple M into the correct form. By looking at these red arrows, you can understand it. Next, in the below, you can see how we can write capital M and simple M in a double rule book. Alright kids, next we have learned capital N, capital N. Then, simple N, 
simple N. We have learned last time capital N and simple N. Now let's see what are the pictures that beginning with letter N. Not, net, nib, nap, nurse, nest, nail, nose, neck, necklace, noodles, needle, nine. Here you can see how to write capital N and simple N into the correct formation. In the below you can see how we can write capital N and simple N in your double rule book. Alright kids, then let's move on to today's lesson. Today's lesson is introducing capital O and simple O. Then let's start today's lesson. This is capital O, capital O. This is simple O, simple O. Capital O, simple O. Children, did you see? Both capital and simple letters are similar each other, but they are different in the size. Did you see? Simple O is small than the capital O. Here you can see capital O in red and simple O in blue. Alright kids, then let's see what are the pictures that begin with letter O. O for ox. O for oil. O for owl. O for orange. O for oval. O for onion. O for octopus. O for olives. O for ostrich. O for oven. O for orchid. Alright, let's repeat. Ox, oil, owl, orange, oval, onion, octopus, olives, ostrich, oven, orchid. Okay children, now let's see what is the correct formation of writing capital O and simple O. First, we'll move on to capital O. Start from the top and make a big circle to the left. Did you see children? It's really easy. Start from the top and make a big circle to the left. Next, simple O. Start from the middle and make a small circle to the left the same way start from the middle and make a small circle to the left it's really easy to write capital O and simple O now let's see how to write capital O in the double roll book here you can see that Next, we'll see how to write simple O in your double rule book. Here, can you see children? Mm -hmm. Teacher will show you write how to write capital O, o and simple O to the white O. Just see the formation. All right. All right, kids. Now we are going to learn capital P and simple P. This is capital P, capital P. This is simple P, simple P. Capital P, simple P. Kids, did you see? 
Here even both capital C and simple C are similar each other but they are different in the size. Simple P is smaller than the capital P. Here you can see capital P in red and simple P in blue. Alright then, let's see what are the pictures that beginning with letter P. P for pan. P for pen. P for peg. P for pin. P for pot. P for pit. P for panda. P for pineapple. P for parrot. P for pearl. P for purse. P for peanuts. P for penguin. Alright, shall we repeat again? Yes. Pan, pen, peg, pin, pot, pit, panda, pineapple, parrot, pearl, purse, peanuts, penguin. Now, let's see the correct formation of writing capital P and simple P. First, we'll move on to capital P. Start from the top and draw a standing line down. Go again to the top and draw a curl up to the middle. Understood? Start from the top and draw a standing line down. Go again to the top and draw a curl up to the middle. Okay, then let's move on to simple P. Start from the middle and move down below to the bottom. Then go to the middle and make a half circle to meet the line at the bottom. Got it children? Start from the middle and move down below to the bottom. Then go to the middle and make a half circle to meet the line at the bottom. By looking at this red arrows, you can all can get an idea. Okay, then let's see how to write capital P in your double rule book. Here you can see that. Now we'll see how to write simple P in your double rule book. Okay. Now teacher will show you how to write capital P and simple P on the whiteboard. Alright kids, I hope you all enjoy this lesson well. So, please keep practicing. You can go through this video again and again until you understand the lesson. Right? Okay, then I'm going to stop for today. We will meet in another new lesson. Until then, take care. Goodbye.